Over the years, nations around the world improved their skylines with ever larger skyscrapers, and Asia is definitely not excluded from this trend. As of today, 22 of the top 25 tallest buildings in the world are located in Asia, the remaining three in the USA. But by 2030, Asia will host many more super tall, record-breaking skyscrapers. In today's video, we will show you the 10 most interesting future skyscrapers in Asia, including the Pertamina Energy Tower, the Golden Finance Tower, and the Signature Tower in Jakarta. Before we go on, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which of these top 10 skyscrapers is your favorite. Number 10. Chengdu Greenland Tower with a height of 468 meters, the Chengdu Greenland Tower will be the tallest building in southwest China, and the fourth tallest in China. Construction on the Chengdu Greenland Tower began in 2014, to be completed in 2022. Its unique design was inspired by the icy mountain terrain around Chengdu. Just as the mountain ridges reflect the sunlight, the Chengdu Greenland Tower will also reflect the light in all directions of the vast city. To enhance this effect, the tower features a series of LED lights on its exterior. On top of the Chengdu Greenland Tower is a roof garden that offers a 360-degree view of the city. Number 9. Pertamina Energy Tower The Pertamina Energy Tower is a 523-meter tall proposed skyscraper in Jakarta, Indonesia, which will serve as the headquarters of the state-owned energy company. Upon completion, it would become the tallest building in Indonesia, creating a breathtaking new landmark on Jakarta's skyline. The Pertamina Energy Tower will be the world's first super-tall skyscraper, where energy generation and saving are the most important aspects of the design. With this unique design approach, the tower relies on sunlight to control the temperature inside the building, and to illuminate the rooms with natural light. The upper part of the Pertamina Energy Tower will be equipped with a wind turbine that uses the strong winds at this height to generate clean energy. Unfortunately, the financial director of the Pertamina announced in 2015 that further construction of the Pertamina Energy Tower had to be suspended due to low oil prices. After that, CNN also reported in 2016 that the proposed skyscraper will be replaced with a scaled-down 30-story tower, which is 69 stories less than the original design. So, as of now, it doesn't look like this tower will become reality anytime soon. Number 8. Hyundai Global Business Center In 2016, Carmaker Hyundai announced a 569-meter-tall tower located in the Gangnam district of Seoul. At an estimated cost of $3.4 billion, construction on the super-tall skyscraper began in 2020, but was halted in early 2021. If finished, it will surpass the Lot World Tower to become South Korea's tallest building. An observation deck will be seated at 553 meters above the ground just two meters shy of the Burj Khalifa's, which is the highest in the world. Other major buildings that will be connected include a 600-seat classical music theater and a 2,000-seat concert hall, which will become the largest one in Gangnam upon completion. Number 7. Nexus Tower With the boom in skyscrapers all around the world, Shenzhen is definitely not left out of the race. London-based PLP Architecture is planning an innovative and futuristic new skyscraper in Shenzhen called the Nexus Tower. Located on the Pearl River Delta, the Nexus Tower will stand at 595 meters and become the 18th tallest building in the world. The tower will consist of three separate rectangular towers that are connected to one another by a strong central core. This ensures stability and gives the Nexus Tower an unusual but interesting design. Number 6. Golden Finance 117 Golden Finance 117 is a super-tall unfinished skyscraper in Tianjin, China. The skyscraper is 597 meters tall and is the world's tallest flat roof building, which means that the building does not have a spire on its roof. It took this title from the Willis Tower in Chicago, which has held the record for years at 442 meters. 
the tower's highest floor is planned to have an indoor swimming pool. Located at 564 meters high, the swimming pool would become the highest in the world. Imagine the views that you could enjoy from this swimming pool. Unfortunately, the Golden Finance currently also holds the record for the world's tallest abandoned building. Initial construction started in 2007, but was halted in 2010 due to the Great Recession. Construction work resumed at the beginning of 2011, but was re-paused again after topping out in 2016 due to further financing problems. As of today, no visible progress has been made, and the abandoned building currently towers over the city of Tianjin like a ghost. Number 5. Grand Rama 9 the Grand Rama 9 Tower is a super-tall skyscraper that is currently under construction in Bangkok, Thailand. With a planned height of 615 meters, it will become the tallest building in Thailand, which is almost twice as tall as the current record holder, the 316-meter-tall Maha Nakhon. At an estimated cost of half a billion US dollars, the Grand Rama 9 Tower was designed with the environment and energy consumption in mind and will emit as little carbon dioxide as possible. Located in the heart of the Huai Kuang district, the tower will have an observation deck and a beautiful rooftop garden that offers a 360-degree view of the city of Bangkok. Number 4. Signature Tower Jakarta The Signature Tower is a proposed skyscraper in Jakarta, Indonesia. It is planned to reach a height of 638 meters and will become the tallest building in Indonesia upon completion. This building is located in one of the most active seismic zones in the world. The high seismic activity and the extremely soft ground conditions pose major challenges for the engineers. Therefore, the engineers had to perform a variety of tests to assess the building's performance under different seismic hazard levels. In order to achieve a safe and reliable structure, very strong and resistant building materials should be used, which can withstand the vibrations and displacements in the ground. Number 3. Merdeka PNB-118 The Merdeka PNB-118 is a 644-meter-high skyscraper currently under construction in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. At an estimated cost of $1.2 billion, the building will become the tallest building in Southeast Asia and the second tallest building in the world. Over 10,000 people are expected to work in the building once it's completed. The design of the glass and steel of the building is inspired by the raised hand of Tunku Abdul Rahman and is intended to demonstrate Malaysia's independence. Construction of the megaproject was originally scheduled to be completed by 2020, but the global pandemic delayed the process. In March 2020, the construction site was shut down with only eight more floors to go. However, just two months later, work on the tower resumed under strict guidelines. In mid-2020, after the completion of the central core, the Merdeka Tower became the tallest building in Southeast Asia. Number 2. Shimao Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center The Shimao Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center is a megatall skyscraper currently under construction. With a height of 700 meters, the skyscraper is set to rise above China's current tallest building, the 632-meter-high Shanghai Tower, which is also currently the world's second tallest building, just behind the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The environmental goal for the new skyscraper complex is to obtain LEED Platinum Certification, which only highly environmentally friendly skyscrapers receive. With this in mind, the tower is designed to channel winds from the east and northeast into open spaces to ensure natural ventilation throughout the building. In addition, high-performance glass is used to reduce heat gain and improve the comfort of those working within the tower with plenty of natural light. Number 1. Jeddah Tower The Jeddah Tower, located in Saudi Arabia, is currently under construction. However, the future of the 1,000-meter-high building is very uncertain. Originally, the tower was supposed to become the next tallest building in the world and was planned to be completed in 2018. At the moment, however, it looks like the Jeddah Tower will instead become the tallest failed building in the world. Since the main investors were arrested in 2017, the construction site has not developed any further. The COVID-19 pandemic has not improved the situation either. 
Only the future will tell whether the Jetta Tower will be completed, or if it will become a symbol of unsuccessful construction projects. What do you think about Asia's future skyscrapers? Which ones would you love to visit? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.